Milton, Delaware. Never played courses out here. There's a pocket of golf, and they all kind of are connected. We're going to talk about the history of this course and some of the challenges it faced. Conversations for this golf course didn't take place until 1989, a long time before the course was actually built. And at that time, they moved about 350,000 pounds of dirt to construct this course. It was originally an old crop farm, so this was all farmland. The 200 houses was built, and then the golf course was conversation started. 1997, it officially opened. $2.4 million to complete. The course itself was designed by David Horn, who was a golf designer. He didn't put too many courses though, just two. And Alan Lindicote, who actually purchased the land in 1989. Now he was a housing developer who turned golf architect and something like that is interesting. When construction started, 200 homes were immediately put up to kind of build a foundation that golf would be around. And when Alan first purchased it, he realized he was the best golf designer for the price. And he learned as much as he could about golf design to get the job done. I should actually move this, but let's see if I can just Get one on that side, sit now, golly. Now, both golf designers knew each other at the University of Delaware, and I think that's where the first connection kind of happened. Uh, Alan grew up in golf since the age of 14, from what I was reading. He always loved golf, and he didn't take down a challenge. He didn't know how to do golf design, but he figured it out. It took a lot of paperwork to get this course built. The Department of Land Use got involved. It was one of the first golf courses in Middleton. David and Alan went on golf trips together to kind of figure out what type of golf course they wanted to build. The foundation of this golf course was a 1920s feel. Challenging, short. And original parts of 1997 are still here. Haven't been too much updated because you get that character of the 1920s feel. The course out of Google ratings has 44 reviews with a 3.6, so it's not that great. But it might be due to the history. It was a year and a half ago this place was on play. Yeah, it was. It was yeah. a dirt farm. And Tim came in here and really, in six months, he made it. I can't. I, it looks like a private facility. I mean, no, it's the time of the year, too. Yeah. yeah but, a lot you know. But, yeah. Hats off. I mean, it's. And black. now they got, you know, a lot more people helping out, working on the course and stuff. So but He's got, but this is his eighth course, right? Yeah. So he's keeping it busy. All right, thank you, sir. That, yeah. Before Ron Jaworski took over. And when Jaworski purchased the property, it was for 1.62 million, so he got a deal. It was the May of 2022 when Jaworski purchased the course. This was his eighth course at the time, so he already had a foundation, putting a half a million in tee boxes, bunker renovation, and also the fairways. And you can see this is actually, you get away with a private course here. And since Jaworski came in, he's put a ton of money and the proof is in the pudding. Look at this. This is the putting green surface on number two. Surfaces, I want to put at a nine out of 10 for public golf. And I think even for private golf, you want to even look at a seven here. These feel like the nicest ones this year that I played. The layout of the course is pretty challenging and a little confusing if you've never played here before. So bring a scorecard with you, that's a little pro tip. Because when you get to the tee box, they're not gonna lay out where the hole's going. And they say this course is not as challenging as the St. Anne's course, but you can find yourself in bad predicaments here. Oh my God. Oh. And conditions at this course are really top notch. Hats off to the $500,000 they put into this course since opening it. Jaworski. Hit the pin. Yeah, it's got a lot of bright colors here in the springtime. That's the time we're here. It's uh, you happen to hit the ball in somebody's yard. Let's take a look at this Delaware course. I tell you what, this course is in incredible shape. You can't even find a tee. Come on. Ah, that's a good putt. All right, let's move on to hole number three now. Come on. A little more. The course itself completed in the fall of 1997. Is that enough? 
Right right into the bunker. Oh my god, that wasn't even close. Let the good times roll.